the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. When Joseph and Mary took Jesus to the temple to be circumcised on the eighth day after his birth, a man named Simeon came to Mary and said, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of the people in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of the many people will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul. Now, what Simeon had predicted all came true, with Mary standing at the foot of the cross. Jesus' crucifixion revealed the many thoughts of the people that conspired against him, and the sword pierced Mary's soul. Mary stood at the cross mourning for her son, and perhaps even grieving for her future. It was the oldest son's responsibility to take care of his mother, and without Jesus, Mary had no one to take care of her, and Jesus was aware of this. At the time where he was the most in pain, he was thinking of others. He was thinking of his mother. He went to one of his disciples named John, and he asked that he would take responsible for his mother. And he did until the day Mary died. This scene at the cross is a calling for us to be able to take care of our loved ones, especially when we're in challenging times. Our salvation not only involves the suffering and death on the cross, but also the love and care of a son for his mother. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for teaching us how to love one another. As you cared for your mother, teach me to care for my parents. Amen. Thank you.